Namibia will participate in the fourth session of the Namibia Ghana Joint Permanent Commission of Cooperation in Accra, Ghana. Now, the meeting is scheduled to take place from today until the 20th of April. Now, to put things into perspective, we are joined by the Namibia's ambassador to Ghana, Salma Shpala Musavi. Good evening, Ambassador, and welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Good evening, Steve. Thanks for having me. Much obliged. Perhaps you can just start off by outlining for us what is the significance of the fourth session of the Namibia Joint or Namibia Ghana Joint Permanent Commission of Cooperation. Well, uh, the significance is manifold. First, it accords the two countries an opportunity to renew and strengthen ties of friendship. Furthermore, it's providing a legal framework for Namibia to pursue cooperation in various sectors where such does not exist. Thirdly, Bilateral trade between Namibia and Ghana is very low. Hence, the need to improve bilateral trade by creating market access for our products, including services. Therefore, at this session, we seek to put economic content to our cooperation by focusing on agreement agreements that are economic in nature. We are hoping that in doing so, we shall take advantage of the African continental free trade area mm -hmm. and contribute to post-COVID economic recovery. Finally, this session was delayed by COVID. So we are pleased that we are able to meet now to generate momentum for Thank you so much for outlining that. Now, with the expected review of the implementation of the bilateral agreements and memorandum of understanding covering a wide range of sectors, including, of course, economic, as you mentioned, how does the majority of these agreements affect mostly the livelihoods of people in Namibia and Ghana? Well, Theo, let me, let me point out that each and every instrument that we have and with Ghana and any other bilateral partner does impact on the livelihood of our people. Because whatever we do outside is informed by the socio-economic development of our people. Now, let me give you specific examples just to demonstrate this. We have an agreement that we are going to sign in the area of tourism, for example. Now, the scope of this agreement covers tourism development and cooperation, and it also covers joint marketing and cooperation. Now, you know that tourism has a multiplier effect. Mm -hmm. What we are trying to do in the area of tourism with regard to tourism development and promotion, for example, we want to encourage cooperation between various tourism outfits. We also want to explore possibilities of promoting and marketing both destinations. For example, a tourist coming to Accra and then continuing to Namibia. We want to have opportunities for larger inflow and outflows of tourism. Now you know that when tourism comes to Namibia, when we have growth in that sector, it contributes to job creation. The second one I can point out to demonstrate how it impacts the livelihood of our people is SME development, for example which is another agreement that we are going to sign. And the objective of this MOU to develop it and enhance entrepreneurial skills and to promote creation of employment by SME. Now, how do we do that? We have 
identified areas which we believe can assist our SMEs. And these areas include leather and leather products, agro-food processing, textiles and garments, and woodwork. So these are areas that speak directly to job creation and improvement of livelihoods. Absolutely. Now you've mentioned tourism being one sector, and of course then SME developing, uh, SME development being an, an, another. What other interventions uh, will Namibia be looking likely to push through to strengthen further the bilateral ties between the two countries, especially considering now that, as you mentioned earlier, it, they, they have not or we don't have too many in place? Yes. Um, our deliberation is divided into three sectors here. We have the political and uh, diplomatic sector. The, the second one is the economic and infrastructure development sector. And the third one is the social and cultural matters. But as I said before, that what we are trying to do at this session is to enhance economic content of our nation. Namibia and Ghana have excellent bilateral relations. Where we are lacking, is cooperation and comment. So we are going to discuss issues related to trade. SMB development I have already mentioned, mm -hmm. agriculture, port management because we are coastal states and ports are very important in the context of the African continental free trade area, mm -hmm. maritime affairs, we are going to discuss health and medical sciences, social protection and women economic empowerment, and lastly, higher education. So those are the sectors that we are focusing on. Well, uh, finally, maybe what I would want to say is that I think it's important that Namibians take an interest in what other African countries are doing. Indeed to benefit from trade through the African continental free trade area. Our youth especially mm -hmm. should connect with others to share experiences in order to contribute to national development. On our part at the Namibian High Commission in Ghana, we stand ready to assist with uh, information pertaining to cooperation and business opportunities between our two countries.